But now in Dino 2.4, we can actually make this part of the module graph. If I do import, uh, uh, let's call it data from data.txt, and then we use this new uh, import attribute syntax. So it's with type text. And if I go here, data. Oops, I can get rid of this completely. We don't need the FS APIs. And uh, another nice thing is now we don't need to even run with allow read because this is part of the module graph. So the permissions, uh, it doesn't apply because you can check if I go Dino info, uh, you see it has it, it here. And it's giving me this error. I'm just going to enable this unstable flag. So this is raw imports. And now if I do Dino info main.ts, you can see it discovers that, the data.txt. And if I run this, it's going to output what was in that text. Another nice thing about this is we have type checking. So say, um, you know, you're, you're passing that to some function, let's call it output. And I wanted to output some text. And I'm just going to copy that. And, uh, you know, I can, oops, output data. So we type checking here. And if I were to like say, you know, changes to number, now we're getting there. Uh, argument of type string is not assignable to number. So it's type checking. Another thing we added was importing as bytes. So, in, you know, here we get a string from the file, uh, but we can also import with the type bytes. And you can see immediately here I get an error because it's expecting this uint array, uh, array buffer. So let me just put that here. And again, if I run this, I don't need permissions. It's just going to output uh, the bytes that are in this file. Another nice thing about this is we can bundle it. So Dino you know, bundle main.ts. And you can see here it's uh, bundled the data within that file. If I were to pipe this to JavaScript file, so bundle.js, you can see here if I run this, going to output uh, the exact same bytes that we originally had. This also works in Dino compile. So compile main.ts. And you can see here in the embedded files, it's included our data.txt. And it's created this executable here. It happens to be named after the folder scratch2. So if we run that, it should say hello from Dino. And there it is. Yeah, that's a quick uh, overview of bytes and text imports coming to Dino. Uh, a great thing about this uh, is if you distribute it online somewhere, uh, like on an HTTPS specifier, this is now part of the module graph. So if you do Dino cache and some module, it will also download these uh, text and uh, imports and uh, bytes imports. So you don't have to like do a separate fetch request to get them anymore. Um, it's not supported on JSR yet because this is still uh, these imports are still unstable. We're waiting for standardization uh, to happen before we unflag that. But um, it'll hopefully be coming to JSR in the future.